So today we're taking a look at a pretty cool car, 1969 Ford Gran Torino GT Fastback. And this car is an S code, 394 barrel with four speed manual. Same owner for over 35 years. So today we're gonna take a pretty close look and see if this isn't maybe a car that might find a new home in your garage. I am a Ford enthusiast. So cars like this, they get me pretty excited. This is candy apple red, it's original color. It has been repainted years ago. I would say an average job, it's shiny. You can see the decal starting to peel back a little bit. Um, under the hood. So there's the power plant. Now what we did not do is try to, some people might say, put lipstick on her to make her appear better than she is. I'm going to consider this a running and driving project. So can you drive it down the road? Absolutely. Does it start every time? So far. Is it amazingly solid? Absolutely. Does it need attention? Yes, she does. So this has come out of long-term storage. And what this car is not is a rust bucket. We have highly detailed photos of the undercarriage. And you can see that this car has all original body panels is amazingly solid. There's only one small spot that I could find in the driver's side uh, tow board that needs replaced, but other than that, that's it. Power steering. We did do a cap rotor points and condenser. See an auto brock, uh, air breather, aluminum intake. I'm not for sure which manufacturer that is. We'll fire it up here in just a minute. And again, try to go step by step so you can understand the condition of this car. You can see a little crack there in the grill, those two. That's all that I see. Bumpers need to be re chromed. Stainless needs to be polished. Good scoop and blisters on that. Four wheel drum brake car, 325 open rear end, DSO Charlotte, North Carolina. So, again, been a local car uh, to the Carolinas since it was new. Little tiny blister right there. Everything else on the lower side of this car looks good. So again, try to take the time so you can see exactly thing that gets me excited is how nice that dash pad is. You cannot find those. Tachometer on the column. It's a non-tack dash. Four speed shifter. And the console is in the trunk. Which we'll get to that in a minute. That was removed so that way it wouldn't get stolen. There's a close up photo of that in our photos website. You can see the deluxe seats, the headrests. Now this is the original carpet, okay? You can see an ashtray here in the back of the driver's seat. Seat belt's all intact as is the stainless. You can see two rear speakers. Someone's added. Common. Overhead seat belts. 
Both of these door glasses need to be adjusted or re-glued. Nice and clean around the back glass here. So all the date code stamps are on the body panels. It's one of the ways that I'm able to confirm that the panels are original to the car. dream to find a car in this kind of shape. We got the console here turned on its side. No rust. It's incredible. And actually inside the console was the original owner's manual. acting up on me here. See the dual exhaust. It does have traction bars. Do the seats need to be recovered? Oh yeah. Grand Touring. It's actually Mud Dauber's nest was there. Probably could have done a better job of knocking the rest of that out. That's both passenger and driver's side mirror. Let's go in here and fire this bad boy up. One thing I will say, she runs great.
there's anything additional you'd like to see, just reach out to us. We'll be glad to provide that along with 100 photos that we have on our website. Clear title, in-house, ready to go. joining me here at Auto World of Conway where we have always good cars for good people.